Hello and welcome to a, uh, another G&T Let's Play. I say another, like these are um, incredibly common, but they're not. But uh, today uh, I am joined by um, Ian Symes. Hello. And Daniel Stevenson. Hello. And my name is Jonathan Caps, and we are playing the mobile game Red Dwarf Simulants Revenge. Yay. You are, we're watching. Yes, so I'm <laughs> going to be playing it in a, in a, in a setup that is... Um, most definitely built on like very flammable uh, wood that could <laughs> that could just collapse at any minute. Um, yes, I'm streaming my playing of this game through the internet, and uh, hopefully everything will all work just beautifully. What could possibly so, go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? So, Simulant's Revenge is um, an interesting curio from the, the the history books. It was released in 2003 as part of a kind of a fledgling um, mobile thing, I guess, that um, that Toss did. So this is from, um, you know, back when, when uh, Grand Nail Productions were kind of getting into the mobile side of things. And uh, there's, a, there's an update from the 20th of June 2003, two days before my birthday, actually. Uh, <laughs> two days before my 20th birthday. Um, Long time ago. Oh, so many, many years ago. Um, and Andrew Ellard wrote this. So fans everywhere can now access our brand spanking new arcade se section thanks to the folks at Bluebeck. Uh, coming soon, we'll have a host of games. You note know, that word, a host of games <laughs> to play online. But Monday, June the 23rd, it's a day after my 20th birthday, uh, <laughs> sees the arrival of Simulant's Revenge. So... <laughs> um, this was the only game that they released, yeah. um, as history would would prove, and it did come along with kind of some other side bits and bobs. We haven't really kind of got much information on like phone logos. You remember when you'd like you know pay fifty p for a phone logo, yeah, and uh, various things like that. But this is kind of the most interesting side of it because this is a Red Dwarf game. This is the first official Red Dwarf game, yeah, um, yeah. and it kind of just got buried. Now, um, did it get buried because of the format it was released in? Or was, was it too late? It's, or was it's it too really, niche? Or was it? On? Yeah, it's a really interesting <clears throat> one. So, like, we we talked about this recently on Samsara commentary, um, and we were we were a little bit dismissive, I would say, of the the, the time period of mobile gaming at the time. And like, since then, a lot has, a lot has happened. A lot of kind of research has happened, and. Um, Actually, 2003 was kind of like the almost the start of this little kind of mini boom of a particular Java platform, mm. uh, J2ME Java Miniature Edition, I think it's called Mini Edition, and it was perfect for for kind of this um, for for developing kind of slightly um, you know slightly more impressive games than you'd had previously seen on mobiles. Um, at the time, most phones were running on this same platform. They were running on this Java platform that could just run these games, um, loads and loads and loads of models. So it was kind of, um, it was it was a successful industry, and a lot of big names made games for this platform. Like you had Sonic games on here, you had uh, games from Sega, like Choo Choo Rocket is one that I played quite a lot. Um, you had a Lost game, like you know, official Lost game. Like there was, it wasn't knockoffs. These were like big names, big media companies mm -hmm. paying money to you know to have their games on these platforms so i think this is in hindsight this was a very good um a good move from it's quite forward thinking even yeah um but it just for whatever reason that we obviously don't know it just didn't really kind of click um and i guess maybe we'd find out whether the, we'll find out in this video whether it was the quality of the game maybe mm. um or maybe it was just Red Dwarf was too niche then. I mean, Red Dwarf's too niche now to to you know to keep mobile games online and profitable. Apparently, yeah, so it would appear. Yeah, so well, I do it, seem it, to it, remember that it was it was quite high end phones that had this at the time because mm -hmm. we're kind of like there's a, this sort of forgotten Netherland really between your old like your Nokia thirty threes. The various thirty threes and thirty twos, etc., and then yeah. smartphones, and that sort of period of history in the middle was kind of forgotten about. There was a lot of short lived things like trends, like flip phones, and the phones were getting smaller and smaller before they ended up getting bigger and bigger. 
Yeah. And it's just it's sort of fallen through the cracks of history this era. There was there was less uniformity. I think beforehand, like everyone had a Nokia, pretty much, <laughs> and or like it was the most popular phone. And then later you had either iPhone or Android sort of leveling the playing field so that everyone could access one of two major uh, systems again. But in the in this middle period, nothing was universal. Yeah, you had to kind of like pick your pick your platform, and this was probably the biggest. But yeah. And, and like you know our coverage from the time like say we we had i mean we all had kind of that era that the 3310 yeah. era of nokia phones which is you know that is snake 2 era you know yeah. if you're old enough to remember um and then by the time we were starting to get the phones that could run it like i found one i i bought bought second hand from a friend in 2007 um and that was like four years after this was released and quite maybe three years after it was no longer available. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't last long. It didn't stay up long. Um, and obviously the, the the plan to kind of release more just kind of stopped. And hopefully in the future we will maybe have a bit more information on that. I have been... Like Bluebeck, the developers um, are still going. They're still doing basically what they were doing in 2003 you know they, they develop mobile games and other kind of cross-media things for big brands and whatnot um we just haven't been able to kind of um organize um a proper time to talk but hopefully we'll maybe have some something like that later on and maybe we'll find out why this didn't quite work it's a bold line of questioning <laughs> So, um, well, let's let's get through to the title screen. Let's get started because let's um, have a fucking go. Let's have a little look. Um, I will just unpause this. And so, Michael, we have mentioned the you mentioned the resolution of this is was quite tiny on a phone, so it's going to be quite stretched for the viewers. Do you know what? Yeah, this is <laughs> this is small for yeah. It'll, it, this is going to look a bit weird. Like, there's one <laughs> other video on YouTube. Um, there's a copyright infringing channel called Ace Rimmer um, that has a video of this, and th that is actually the person that I got this copy from. So oh. I should, I, you know, I should mention that. Um, and it's pretty short; um, it doesn't really go through much. So we're hoping maybe to have kind of a full playthrough here. Like, uh, let, let's see if. Well, that depends on the skill level of the player. Exactly. I mean, I'm no god. So, um, I'm starting. Well, God's, God's the worst of God, all the people. Yeah, well, exactly. I'm not even God. <laughs> You're not even God. Oh my God. I'm like John Gaunt, even. Like, <laughs> sort of, so, yeah, it's, it's just cycling through the. Um, let's, let's, let's just um, actually get into the menu. Let's Ooh. go to help. Um, and just, you know, here's the, here's the controls here. Now, this is an interesting one the Fire Nitro left soft key. Mm. I have not been able to get an emulator to. Um, work with the soft keys, which were like basically the little like, kind of back and forward buttons that you had just under the screen that weren't part of the number pad until about an hour before we started recording this. Oh, nice. So <laughs> I have never activated the nitro, and today will be the <laughs> until first time tonight. I activate the nitro. <laughs> tonight. So this is uh, exclusive. So there, you know, there's your controls. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. You just move around, top down, shoot them up, um, and. The op yeah, there's nothing in the options. Turn the sound on and off, redefine the keys, and that's it. So let's go. Okay. I'll read. I'll read the intro blurb. Starbug has drifted back into the simulant hunting zone. Shit. They hate humans, and Lister just about qualifies. Mm. The dwarf has killed their revered leader, a revered leader, a simulant who brought countless victories and who practically invented the double eyebrow look. Now they want revenge, and they brought bigger weapons. But the Sims have forgotten they upgraded Starbug, better engines, laser cannons, and the seat doesn't squeak anymore, etc. Ruthless killers know they're cunts, and <laughs> we're in. We're paraphrasing. So, so this is we're basically set around the time of Gunman. This is yeah. yeah. This is this be between. Gunman and Rimmer World, I guess. Is Rimmer World um, they encountered the the female? Oh, that's right. Yeah. again. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And again, we so, haven't like confirmed this, but I'm assuming this is you know the the maybe the bit of the law around this is um, uh, come from the pen of Andrew Ellard, who yeah, it seems was writing. Yeah, it seems likely he was across a lot of uh, most official Red Dwarf products at that time. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. This is this interesting. Was around the time like that they bothered to give it a narrative uh, to make it slot in somewhere it's kind of like yeah. finding a gap in the show to to fill in 
Okay, so let, let's talk about the cracking eggs. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's... So, <laughs> What the fuck is going... I've been watching what's going on, and I'm, I'm absolutely, like, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I don't know what's going on. So the first wave of enemies, um, I'm not sure what they are. I think they're like they're like kind of young versions of whatever's hatching out of here. They're all polymorphs. I think oh, we okay. mainly right. we mainly got polymorphs here. Um, do, does everyone remember the episode where the they, they got a battle scutter and the battle scutter orbited around Starbug and just shot at things? Uh, uh, cause, cause no, I think that, was that a deleted scene. Yeah, I th- well, it might have been a deleted scene, but that's yeah. the power up I got before. So, these so things are move quite polymorph quickly. Polymorph eggs that were cracking. Oh my god, you yeah. Missed one. There's going to be a polymorph yeah, I think, made. Okay, so bet you're okay. Yeah, polymorph eggs that can survive in the the, the vacuum of space. Oh, I just got hit there. Yeah, we would uh, later gotta... discover they, in fact, hatch. Maybe you should try playing pool with planets. It's completely different. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, so th- that's another thing. There's little quotes in between the levels. Um, there's some directly from the episode. There's some that are like really weirdly paraphrased. That looks um, quite scary, I've... that laser thing. Yeah, so this bit... Tesla coil. The only reason I'm getting back... Like, this took me a long time to kind of figure out exactly what you need to do, but you just need to, like, just stick to the... Find your moment to dart to the next Exactly, stick to the left edge. The patterns on these lasers are always the same. It feels very Crash Bandicoot. Nick Ellen. (laughs) Sort of upwards rather than sideways. Yeah. And again, like, that's... It's odd. I distracted myself. I was saying that... um, we later discovered that polymorph eggs have to be shot down someone's neck in order to hatch, rather than just floating through space. Yeah. We'll come to that in a dwarf cast commentary fairly soon. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you've already beaten Gort score, so, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down. Actually, yeah, fuck Gort. Is so that, the thing with this game... Is that the battle scutter that's going around? Yeah, that little, that little circly yeah. thing around it yeah. is the battle scutter, yeah. Okay. And... There is no limit to the battle scutters that I could have. In fact, I think there might be a limit of four. So the way the way this happens, you so get pretty powerful pretty quickly. <laughs> like I've picked up a couple of laser upgrades already, which are, are pretty big. Like I think they up your fire rate and also the Mr. Flipple's very cross. Oh look, here's the nitro. Let's get the nitro. Please get the nitro. No, no! shield down. Fuck. I'm dead. So I've oh. lost all my. Okay, so let me get, we get lost the your nitro battle scutter. Again. Okay, nitro. nitro. So I need to press the. Let me just. So oh, I've God. just lost all of my power ups. Oh, you got battle scutter, and that's dangerous because it gets pretty like um, it gets pretty difficult pretty quickly, and you have to end up basically being very overpowered to get through okay. the later stages. Um, but I've got a nitro, and when I don't you... know what it does. <laughs> Shield. Shield Wait. power up. That's pretty good. Balls. So, yeah, these balls <laughs> um, again. Um, do you remember this episode, everyone? Yeah, the I think it was in series Attack of the Giant episode. Bulls. Oh, I've got side blasters. Get the fucking side blasters. There we so go. You're, I think you're seeing more icons than we are. <laughs> oh, you're not They're, seeing... I, I've of... seen... I can, you can just sort of about see them, but... I, I are think they flashing for us, quite... The, yeah. I think for us, the refresh rate isn't quite what it is for Capsi. Yeah, so, I think, the flat, I yeah. think the, 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 if they're blinking... And in the yeah. screen, they're not blinking very... Like, we see them sort of one yeah. in every four rather than one in every two. I think the recording should be fine, hopefully. The recording oh, yeah, yeah, should, no, yeah. it'll be fine. It's just that we, we, like, yeah. So, obviously, you're collecting... So, is there anything that just tells you what There's a little icon I saw an S got. for shield. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we've got the... So, um, oh, fuck. The oh, battleships. The, these guys are cunts. I'm probably actually going to die and have to start over. Battle so scutter. I, su- I'm Shield supposed, down. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a lot more firepower by this point, but I died just before this wave. Um, I'm on my last, last life. life. Extra life. Oh, I just got <laughs> it's taunting me. <laughs> so, really, I should be like, oh, dodging these. If you were a speed runner, you'd have already rage quit and start again. It's like the, yeah, um, the, true, the what they call it, what I call the pity suit in um, uh, Super Mario. Where like when you do that badly, oh, no. then it gives you the white tanuki suit that allows you to be invincible and do everything. And uh, it's like when you're doing that shit, Mario it just Kart. starts to help you a little bit too much. I hate that so much. It makes me it makes me more angry when I'm trying to like. <laughs> oh well done. Have the special suit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not doing too well. I tell you oh. what. Do you know what? Let's just, let's just take all the fucking barriers down. Dunce his cap as well. <laughs> it's just that's what it feels like. Pity suit. So this this game is definitely is it, it fell victim to a bit of a, oh, really? an early. Early example of a um, 
a downgrade scandal, which I don't think anyone noticed. But there's the screenshots and little gifs on the on toss that show when the quotes come up. It shows a little um, face icon. Oh, yeah. uh, or like, you know, a little like you know, picture of whoever it is saying the quote. Um, also, those asteroids that we just saw were like a little bit more kind of stylized polygon, flashing polygony things. Okay, that looked pretty cool, but obviously were, were deemed maybe you know, not, <laughs> I don't know, not very performant. Like, too intensive. Really, yeah. yeah, too intensive. So it switched to just normal kind of mm. um, asteroid sprites. So there's a, a couple of downgrades. The background also is a lot more complicated in the in the screenshot. So maybe mm. people got this and were just maybe a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. They got bullshotted and were a little bit cross about it at the time. I don't know. It's Lemming Sunday, your useless jump. <laughs> Do you remember Jeez. that? Brilliant. <laughs> That's not an accurate quote. <laughs> Maybe a lot oh. wasn't across the uh, dialogue. I need to. I think I, I. I need to. Do you know what? I need to start again. Because what I need to do. Runs dead. There we go. Extra I need life. to. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, taking, you're trying to die. <laughs> Have extra life. Shield down. I've, I've, Shield I've down. played through this far too many times over the last few days, or last few weeks, really, and I found the only way that I can really get through. Ooh, oh, this is you've made oh. it. Fuck off, God. Ass. Yeah. Put in ass. <laughs> <laughs> Take two of the nuggets and <laughs> shove them up your ass. <laughs> Oh, That's not how you spell oh. Capsy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's how everyone else spells Capsy. What's a cunt cannon? <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I no. didn't. Cunt. <laughs> I'm just going to say, who has, who has not done that? If you haven't done that in an arcade where you've ended the word one letter earlier, you've not lived. <laughs> Everyone's done that. They've never everyone pressed the end has. button, they've just pressed the escape button. Um, so I can actually skip this. Let's get straight in. So another thing is is that <laughs> I got the backwards. nitro, but yeah. I died before I got to use it, and I right. know from experience that that is the only time the nitro appears in the game. Oh. Because once you get past wave 9, maybe wave 10, um, there's a boss at the end that hopefully everyone will see if I can actually... <laughs> no pressure. Um, and then it wraps around. It goes back to... To, to phase one and then you just keep going and it's basically a score attack just keep going keep going infinite okay. mode basically uh, but the patterns the number of enemies in the wave the order of the enemies in the wave are all identical as far as I can tell I think there's a small amount of variance with what um, what power ups you get but as you can see I'm getting the battle scutter exactly the same time here mm. and the extra, extra life. life happened at exactly the same time so just little, little things like that obviously like the people like make making games for this platform at the time would have been up against so many limitations, yeah. um, space um, space limitations specifically. Um, so the more I've played this game, and the more actually I've dug into it for various reasons, the more impressed and the more I've appreciated it yeah. because that it's <laughs> it tends to be part of the cost for most games you dig into because you realise yeah. a lot of a lot like a lot of games are not about like a gameplay is obviously needed in all the thing, but a lot of the way that games work and are successful and can do what they do is memory management. Yeah. So that tends to be the biggest part, and it's a lot of it's very very heavily overlooked in terms of yeah, like absolutely. actual development of a game. If you see how Pokemon is compressed, is insane. Like the way they do it and the the and the you know the efficiency of it. That's the crazy bit. Is the the, the way the that it's all done. What's the name of that YouTube channel? Where the guy like breaks down what goes um, into a Mega Drive cartridge. Oh, um, yeah, it's the fellow that worked on um, Sonic 3D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Gaming Secrets, I think it's called. Gaming coding, Secrets. coding, coding secrets. Coding, coding secrets. secrets. With um, yeah, John Burton. Yeah. They are well worth a look if you There's care about how game. If you even if you don't care and you just want to, you're just curious how you know how the special stage in Sonic 3 was done. Like the, the he he makes a very fair educated guess as to how it was probably done yeah. looking into video ram and stuff like that but yeah really i mean how big was this game cap see how big is the actual file um i'd have to double check i don't think this game is much i, I think it might be oh god is it it's, is it it's less no more than, than one meg, meg or is it around i think it might even be a lot lot less than that like right. um i i, I could actually 
double, but it's it's absolutely tiny. Yeah, that's that's um, what I find amazing is the fact that they do like obviously you know like you know to make a game very small and like not fill up your phone the second you've downloaded. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, okay, so this game you'd buy it on the website and download it to your phone, and um, I'm not entirely sure how that process worked at the time, but there's one of two ways, isn't it? Like you either, yes, I got the fucking nitro. <laughs> Like guys, like the snowball, <laughs> the snowball has started. Like I'm, really, I'm, I've got two battle scutters, um, just like that episode, and uh, I'm starting. Like if I can tear through these asteroids, then I know that I'm I'm on a good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking press the nitro well, as soon as the uh, okay nitro. Whoa! Whoa fuck. The fuck! <laughs> so that's basically yeah, destroy everything on screen. Oh my god! Right, I'm saving that for the. Yeah. Final oh my god, boss. you're gonna need that later. Yeah. Oh, so you've actually yeah, oh, you've got yeah. you've still got some of it. Everything's that didn't take much energy. No, from it the didn't. Nitro. I wonder then if the nitro won't appear until you've used up the last one, and that's probably why you've never seen more than one. Well, I I never I never got the button bindings to work for the, for the soft keys. So, so that's what why you've never used up a nitro before. So I wonder so whether they do appear when you've used it up. And so you've got like an codes. ability every like if you've got it already, it won't give you another one until you've used it. Three battle scutters. <laughs> yeah, three battle scutters. Those gunships. The gunships are my favourite, like because they're actually something you'd expect to see. <laughs> Who's shooting out door. the side? What's going on there? Oh, I've got side blasters, Danny. All right, mate. Yeah. So not only did the simulants upgrade Starbug, they also left a load of other upgrades yeah. just floating around in space that work so efficiently that you just have to bump into them and they install themselves. Yeah, they really exactly. they do like a challenge. The simulants they really do. I, I mean, they're they're not exactly tactical geniuses. Like they are guys. they are gluttons for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting Gluten comfy now. The the problem with this is I'm running this in an emulator. I'm not sure what it's it's probably even harder on a mobile, but the uh, the inputs it only takes one directional input at a time. So if you get a bit quick with like trying to change directions, you can mm. get stuck. And if you get getting stuck in this game is death basically. Um, it doesn't take long for you to die. And as soon as I die, I lose every single power up I've got and basically become useless. Um, Especially as you respawn, like you're now halfway through the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't put you back. Or anything. <laughs> um, so the the lives count really is a little bit pointless because you can just to give that quote. Fuck off again. Yeah, just to give the quote, not to help, just to like, <laughs> just be pithy. See, that'd be quite yeah. cool if you had like actual backup support from another ship that came in. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and like help you for a small. Like you could call him, and then <laughs> yeah. they would come in, help call you through it, and go right. I need, I need, I need to go now. I've been called somewhere else, and then he fucks off and leaves you to finish the rest of the game. <laughs> Again, yeah, space management. Yeah, yeah. They, obviously, yeah. And that's for this probably game, why possible, things but... like those uh, pictures, of, like the little avatars of the characters, probably had to go. Very possible yeah, because like of say, the compression is... ratio for those things is like you know, the, like, if you've got a palette, like you, you like it's amazing the level of like, uh, like restrictions you have with things like palettes. Yeah. And things like that. Like that stuff has to be like I assume there's there's something dealing with the background palette, something dealing with the sprite palette. Yeah. And then you oh the star bug at the top is quite complicated. I'm surprised that that is as it is, it's because that's quite yeah, a no, high res image for yeah. you know. That's probably I've the dug into the assets for this. And like, you know, an image of the sprite, you know, yeah, there's no there's no wasted assets at all that kind of in because like th this is in a, a a Java file a jar file which are, is basically a uh, a zip file that's mm. got a load of raw images in it and compiled Java code. Um, so all the all the assets are just in there and kind of I've extracted them all and like they they are all as tiny as they look and not there's not one unused thing in there, and a lot of the effects like um, oh look new new enemies look, kind of. Yeah. Um, Oh, they've been spinning. taken straight out of Sonic Two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the special yeah, stairs—they like... like the little faster, slower oh, things yeah. in the Sonic One. Oh, hey. Kevin! Oh, there's Kevin. There he is. There Kill he is, Kevin. and there's Kevin again. And oh, look, there's Kevin's mate. And mm -hmm. That's John Kevin. Barry. <laughs> um, funnily enough, these are Trevin. among the most underwhelming enemies in the game. I actually, looking at the assets before getting to the end, I thought, oh, there's, there's the end boss. Is is Kevin? And that's not but, the end boss. No. <laughs> no, he's not. He's just he's cannon fodder, mate. I mean, look at me. Look at me. I'm in 
Yeah, you got a lot of lasers, mate. I got so many lasers, mate. <laughs> more balls. Some more balls, please. Watermelons. I mean, two two laser upgrades. What's that do then? Don't get too close to Kevin. I know. It's <laughs> that got a little bit. Is that a general so rule? I think it's firing stuff now. <laughs> what we're looking at here, so this game definitely has balance issues, right? So like, Dave. Oh shit! Oh shit! Kept. So- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, by the way, these battle scutters just do free damage if they touch, uh, touch an enemy. Right. So when you got four of them, they're effectively a little force field. Um. Yeah. So it's impossible for Kevin to hit you with his little like laser projectile when you've got four, because nice. it it moves too slowly and it just gets destroyed uh, by these invincible battle scutters. Um. Oh fuck! It's the eggs. <laughs> These, have you noticed how the little spawn that come out? I would love to hear that dialogue in Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so one of those things where like, oh, in the that's Promised Land, Crichton said definitely... Lady Garden, and it's kind of made my day. <laughs> oh, fuck, here's the eggs. I don't know what I just... to use that. That's the subtitle for this uh, video, I think. The simulator's <laughs> revenge. Oh, fuck, it's the eggs. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's the eggs. Um, but yeah, like definitely balance problems because it's... I think this... From what I could see, it looks like this game turned out to be too hard, and so uh, power ups were thrown in, like quite plentiful power ups were thrown in. Really, but really. the the power ups, you know, very quickly snowball. But you've now got seven lives as well, which is uh, yeah, considering you <laughs> wiped out your entire supply with. I mean, you're extras. essentially just a walking bullet right now. You're just in, like I'm, way overpowered. I'm a swirling death machine, <laughs> basically. Um, and it's very satisfying. Like, there's, I think we have encountered one one person in our current active community that played this at the time. Uh, Quinn Drummer, of you know the Quinn Drummer fame, and he he has really fond memories of it. He said that he loved playing this on the on the bus, you know, and it was a really good kind of like little time waster. And he it sounded like he got to the end and cycled around. And he was playing it on a phone, which must have been like a nightmare. But hmm. you know, I can see why like. Why this was popular at the time, well, it's yeah. like, it's or like a, why people would like it. Let's say when it gets um, to this stage, it's kind of like a temple run type thing. So yeah. You can, yeah, you can easily see hours being sunk into just going through and trying to you know beat your time and you know see how many times you can cycle through it on the bus journey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know trying to trying to beat your oh god yeah because like temp, temple run is a sort of game that I played a lot in my commute when I was when I was a Londoner. Um, earlier on before I got a smartphone I had I still had my oh, Nokia phone when I first moved to London I'd played like the Choo Choo Rocket and stuff on there I still have no idea why we never thought to dig out this earlier um, <laughs> maybe we just assumed it was forever lost I think that's um, what it was I just think because it was such a niche thing and because not many people would have got it not many people would have had it I think just the fact that yeah it was just sort of lost to time really and because it was like yeah. who's going to be able to replay this now and I didn't and then Within, I think during the Samsara commentary, we talked about it, and then with about an hour, about an hour of us talking, <laughs> you then talked to us and said, "Actually, I've managed to get hold of a copy. I've got an emulator. I've got it running, and I'm about to remake it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Escalated um, that, quickly. It yeah, did escalate quite so. quickly. Uh, I'll talk about I'll talk about that 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 plan actually at the end. Yeah. Ooh, teasers. Because, um, well, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far it's going to go because. Like digging into this game, there's a lot of details that you don't necessarily appreciate straight away. Um, like a lot of bits of graphical flair. Like anything you see that's kind of like line based. So, you know, I think we might actually be coming up to them in a minute. Those, um, they're called claws. They don't look like claws, but the ones that shoot out electricity. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. The little sort of, yeah, little winged things. Um,. Oh no, we're back to. Uh, do you back know what? I think heavy. we're close to the end, boss. Yeah, but the, like uh, all those lines, all that like, kind of like lasers, the nitro lasers. That's mm-hmm. all done in code. That's all generated in code rather than f- be sprite being sprite based. And that's, okay, you know, quite difficult. Or uh, like you know, it, it's Not- a complication. And then there's the movement on some of the enemies. Like the original enemies have this kind of swinging movement to them that okay. is um. On, it, it, that is like you know using physics really. It's using some rudimentary physics, which again is like is ridiculous that it was running on, 
you know stuff like that was it wasn't just a straight line movement it was like momentum and swinging around hmm. kind of movement um i wonder what the people that coded it what their sort of background was um because at the time like games range from anything from sort of this to like it was playstation 2 era wasn't it in, in original yeah. xbox era so yeah. we were kind of uh you know 3d proper 3d games and you know it was we were quite far advanced in terms of the generations and yeah. yet there's a lot of this is you know, more sprite based and polygon based i don't really know what i'm talking about with the technicalities but like you well, can exactly someone, it, exactly the distinction you could either yeah. come to this from a background of having developed more sort of simple games for the sort of mega drive snares era or you know people who are used to doing things on a more advanced level bringing some of those tricks and doing a lo-fi version thereof yeah yeah um i'd i'd love to i'd love to kind of know um it was i do know it was developed by one guy so that like, um i i you know i've i've spoken to kind of the, one of the owners of blue and he said like the, oh here he Whoa. is the end boss caterpillar i'll let him go through one okay i'm going to i'm going to fuck him up watch this i'm going to nitro the shit out of this cunt <laughs> oh no he's not in front of me oh see Ooh. Ah, you gotta get rid of all these things. Oh, Did nice. it? Completed nice. the game. <laughs> so now, your, so watch uh, these guys move. Your uh, kind of health bar is so quite low. Okay, all oh, right. I see now. So you got the yeah, yeah. those kind of swinging. So that's basically like a sign. It's a sign, it's a sign motion. It's a sign sign wave. Ah, yeah. Basically. Okay. So, so it's sign wave was my least favorite episode of uh, Series <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically a sign movement, which is actually quite easy to code. To be fair, because it's like it's the most it's the because it's basically a circle in, like drawn on a straight line. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's a circle, which, and obviously they're moving down at the same time as well. Yeah, so it's essentially yeah. Like, yeah so you can have so it's easy to make things that you know have a have a, a slow down and a. It just makes them more interesting, I suppose. But it does make them very predictable, which is another yes. thing. Yeah, and. Even in, when you first start the game, you can basically just spam kill those those initial guys. So you're now playing through levels one and two with the mm -hmm. with the stuff you've now actually attained through levels yep. one and nine, basically. It just it just wraps around new game new game plus. <laughs> oh um, right, that this, was the that was the big boss. That was the that big was boss. The big, yeah. That was it, and because you yeah. had the nitro, it was just easy peasy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was. I didn't mean to denigrate the quality of the boss, but I, uh, I miscounted how many waves you'd done. <laughs> yeah, it's n n nine is the. There's nine um, waves rather than ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Again, maybe maybe something that was planned that was maybe had to be taken out or pulled back or something. Maybe it was meant to be ten levels. Maybe they only had space for a single digit. <laughs> maybe. I mean, genuinely, yeah. That yeah. maybe you know that's that's why snooze buttons used to be the way they worked because they used to work <laughs> on the fact that nine minutes was enough to, for. The tick to go around once before it cycled back round to zero, which is why yeah. oh, that's... historically is nine minutes rather than ten or anything like that. Talking about like being overpowered, look at my nitro bar. Like I yeah. used, yeah. Yeah. I, I, used nothing I killed the entire boss, <laughs> and it's barely well, give you oh, one. Well, Shit. maybe that's the I point. Then maybe this. the idea is that it's meant to be just this kind of really useful thing that you're sort of using a pinch. You know, when you're really stuck or you really need just yeah. a bit of a, a bit of a help, just clear the screen while you just get on, you know. When you get a bit overwhelmed, so, it's just like panic button and then on. How <laughs> how many laser upgrades like do do they get <laughs> exponentially <a> <laughs> better? Or is there a cap to how good they are? Um, I'm pretty sure there's a cap. So like these guys are the, the, the tankiest enemies in the game. I actually didn't realise you could kill them until <laughs> Um, fairly recently. 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of the amount of laser upgrades I've had is ridiculous. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a cap. Um, it's difficult to tell because, like, I, again, like I've been trying to remake this basically in Unity and oh, refill your nitro. Oh, that, there you go. So yeah, got the, yes, yeah, so nitro so does go around that one point. Yeah. I used 20% of my nitro, so I just had to top it up. Just give it a little top up. <laughs> Wasteful. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm like. Let's just fucking. And does it? And does it have to be the, the when yeah. you use the nitro? The time to, to the time to spunk all your nitro was just before you picked up a brand new nitro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like, this is all bonus now. You know, I've already completed yeah. it once. This is just you brand new. You points. don't actually end up just playing this for seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> See, like now, I've. I mean, this is the first time I've seen the nitro. Seeing how the nitro works, 
and as an amateur game developer trying to figure out how i'd do that how i'd replicate that i've, I've got palpitations now so <laughs> this is why i'm not sure whether my remake will actually come to anything um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically, because we were like planning on making some sort of like a like a Red Dwarfy game, and I wonder whether there's some element yeah. we could have like a mini game with these kind of elements in them. Like it doesn't have to be exactly this because we're not trying to make this game, but taking elements a from tribute. it as like a homage. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's like you yeah. know, like how Sonic nice Mania's to... got a little um, level of mean bean machine in it. Yes, exactly. Just like a nod to kind of like you know, like a, a nod in deference to the to the people who came before, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly, and and this is the this is the balance, right? So like I'm, you know, wanting to learn Unity, you know, Unity game development, which is a game development engine, and so I thought, oh, well, just dug this out. It'd be really good if there was a way, you know, it's really simple. How hard could it be to kind of copy the con the the, the logic across? I thought, hmm. um, so like everyone could play like a new version that is smoother and easy to easy to run don't have to bother with emulators and then you start digging into it seeing how everything works and trying to replicate it exactly because honestly like what the, the battle scut has just killed that what is the point of porting this if it isn't identical you know yeah, yeah. Um, and then that becomes a, its own kind of albatross around your neck because everything has to be exactly right you can't just say oh yeah that's good enough because you're not creating your own thing no yeah so it's yeah, it's it's, and I'm looking. I tell you what, I am looking at. I'm quite impressed with is the um, the way that the the scutters are yeah. sort of the way it's always orbiting the starbug and finds its way around the scutter. Yeah, it has every that, so finds its way around the starbug every time. There's loads to it's admire practical. about this game. Like you know, we could we could really easily be not sniffy but like you know like oh it's just a daft little well, I, you know. it's better than i assumed it would be that's the thing I, yeah i can yeah. i can I, yeah you can you can do this all day but you can do this all day with with older games and go oh yeah well it's you know it's yeah. it's, it's old therefore it's crap and it's like that's that, that's a terrible argument because that's no, just it's, not it's, how this games isn't, work this isn't as uh advanced as uh grand theft auto 5 why am i interested in this yeah it's like <laughs> like, like look at games like donkey kong and stuff for the nez and you dig into those and see how much work went into making collision boxes and how physics works in a game like that it's just it's crazy it's just mm -hmm. and it, i think all games re deserve some level of some level of praise for the for the efforts we put into them so you yeah. know i'm never gonna it's like when you, you it's really disheartening when you when you make a game and then like within like about 40 seconds someone goes oh shit and it's like yeah well that's just four months that's four years worth of work for some people mate and it's just, yeah and <laughs> it's really really disheartening even bad games um got finished and that makes them better than yeah you know, 99 you can, you, yeah yeah you know, everyone can argue that a game that isn't finished and, and would have been amazing it's like well that's that's great but we'll never see it so yeah exactly like, <laughs> it's games finished. it's one of those things where like the amount of time and you know person hours that go into it versus the output it's one of the most labor intensive art forms you can have like that and, so. um, and claymation. I think I was going to say that and stop Games motion and is probably and are about the, the, yeah. the limit. Yeah, you got Rockstar and you got Leica Studios, and those two are basically, you know, in terms the, of the, the, <laughs> well, people Rockstar don't really take like, claymation for granted. At least Red Dwarf didn't put out this game on three su su successive generations of fucking hardware <laughs> without so changing making anything. a new game. It's very true. Um, and do you know what? Like, you know. There, there is there is space for uh, there is space for a red dwarf game like this like there is um space. there so is game game digits basically their games are, are basically they're extensions of this like you know this it, was yeah games yeah. like this formed one of several mini games in each chapter of the uh, of the mobile game for exactly yeah it was the next logical step and yeah. fit more stuff in there um they and... could have pictures of the characters that were talking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they can even have the yeah. theme music, but that's a whole matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's um, it's a shame, really, that like now three times, I guess, every time Grand Naylor Productions have tried to kind of crack this kind of the gaming issue, it hasn't quite worked. Um, th yeah. 
it is frustrating because we, we did we did talk about this as well about like why why does Red Dwarf not work as a game? And I think the idea is because Red Dwarf is yes, it's sci-fi, but it is comedy. And I think the major mm-hmm. thing is that it's difficult to get across the humour of the show in a game, rather than it is getting getting across the concept in a game. Easy, yeah. uh, not easy, but it's very much it's very easy to do in a, in a way that a game can do. Yeah, but because like the humour of game, the game is absolutely needed to be, it needs to work. But it, it also, like, it's why a lot of it's it, for me. It's like it's why games and films don't mix because games are non-linear and. Not not typically anywhere, and even if they are, there's still there's still more of a universe to explore than a film can do, and yeah. things like that. So, yeah, it's for for this reason. So the best official Red Dwarf computer game is Geek Chase. Yes, the uh, yeah. the competition that um, was part of Beat the Geek, where they built yes a hugely that was... immersive world, which was funny, and also. Like so true to the series and expansive and varied, mm-hmm. uh, just in the form of websites that you clicked around and explored, and but you you played game like it was a game. Oh, it can be it's it can be fun, but it's not a game. <laughs> no, it it was a game. <laughs> in Is that it? You were uh, you had objectives that you had to fulfil, and you did that by manipulating and you know exploring the world that had been built. Uh, to all extents and purposes, it was a computer game. I mean, essentially, it was escape room. It's yeah, sort of like yeah. a treasure hunt escape room kind of thing. Yeah. It was like a, it was so like a passwords and putting clues together, and yeah. it's very yeah, it's very um, through code and all. And stuff. Well, you, you can like, chart the you can I'm chart trying... kind of Andrew's um, like extra creativity, like the you know the extra stuff that he added to the universe. That you're like Return to Anarchy, which is the comic. Um, there's this if we're to assume that he you know kind of was to, something to do with the authoring of this which is doing exactly the same thing as Return to Anarchy which is slotting itself into an existing place and then this ARG was almost like the kind of the end product of that like it was just, just so much stuff in there it was brilliant Ian's losing his mind because he keeps wanting to say prelude not return <laughs> I <laughs> whispered shit. it so that future Capsi would kick himself when he edited it <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I just saw Ian slowly go. It's prelude. Did I really say return to anarchy? <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 yeah, I quite like this. So, so is, is there a way that we can? I don't know whether we're allowed to, but are we able to turn it into some ah. sort of Java applet that we can make it into something that's playable online? Yeah, I'm gonna. I think. I think we'll um, we'll take the risk and stick this up on on the download section. Um, I'll put like I'm using uh, an emulator called K Emulate. All the emulators really are. There's one called Free J2ME, which was I was going to use for this video, but um, I found out that it doesn't seem to have the sound working. But then the irony being that once I got this one up and running, we f- figured out that for various reasons we couldn't capture the sound for this video. <laughs> so you, you're seeing a, a silent game. There is actually sounds when you fire your lasers and when you hit an enemy. And that's about I'll it. Just, I'll but just do some is... sounds now, and the, re- and okay, the listeners, the, what the viewers can imagine them in the right place. So, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> no, no, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Fall. Yeah, that's Sonic Kevin. <laughs> also, look at these. Like, watch, Get a nurse. These, these particles that are coming out. Like, there's a lot Ooh. to them as well. Like, the, yeah. each one of those has a bit of momentum, different momentum from the others. He's fucking gunship. <laughs> so I am Not curious. That. The reason I'm still playing this and making you all watch it is on the other emulator. Um, when you get past two rounds of this, when you beat the end boss for the second time, it crashed, and I want to see whether <laughs> it crashes again. Because if it does, that tells me that maybe that was some an. Uh, something that happened in the game itself at the time. Uh, if it doesn't, then I know that it was the emulator. We can ask Quinn as well, emulator. see if it happened for him, if he ever managed to get it through twice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and I do have it working on my phone. I just haven't really been kind of... Like, the version I've got, I think, was um, a, like a subversion for a particular type of tablet at the time, or like what constituted a tablet. Nope. Here he is. Here he is, yeah. the lad. Oh, you got no nitro he this does. time. You got to work at it. Oh yeah, look, it's done it. It's done it. It's crashed. He's crashed. He's crashed. 
He's crashed. He's crashed. Oh no! Crashed. Oh, no. He's just, Shield he's down. Just... Now you've died. Yeah. Now I've died. Oh. Ah, interesting. Right. So now I'm fucked. Now yeah, look at this. Got... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to lose fourteen lives in fourteen seconds? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could try and chip away at him, but. It, 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 oh, I've you've got nothing left. <laughs> I've got nothing <laughs> left. This is what I mean. Like it's all or nothing. I've basically been. Yeah. It kind of looks like one of the Sonic badniks. Yeah. yeah what does. the f- like? Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> like it's kind of a an insectoid thing. It's, yeah. I can't see it being like an extension of a so, of a polymorph. Also, why are simulants use? I mean, I, have simulants ever used polymorphs? <laughs> We've only ever seen Gelfs use Kinetowawa use polymorphs. Yeah, but yeah, I'd say like in terms of the title of the game, the balance seems to be far more polymorph than simulant. Heavy. Simulants, yeah. And that's the problem you run into is like you know Red Dwarf doesn't really provide you with like this rich list of things that you can just easily stick the, into like, a game. Everything in Red Dwarf is it's one of a handful of things. It's either a simulant or a Gelf usually. Yeah, it's true. But Gelfs can be Fuck. pretty much anything. So there is seem to be some logic on this worm as to like it mm. like literally is scoping where you are and then it literally heads towards you. And it goes for you. Like yeah. it seems Much sort like of the... like a crash like a crash um, enemy would sort of stop and then hit him where you were that frame and then it's it punishing. Sort of, it's very punishing. It sort of orbits you in the same way that the scooter does and then eventually just tra- travels in one single direction straight at you. Exactly. And another thing that just gives me nightmares trying to like think how I'd actually actually recreate it because I, I'm recreating I'm trying to recreate everything from scratch in Unity and a lot is there, a lot of the game logic is there, it's just the enemy behaviour is the is the fucker and the way you would normally do a port is that you'd have the original source code and you'd be copying the exact maths across um, I don't really no, have no. the ability I haven't been able to do that, I've decompiled it and it's all kind of a little bit I just don't have the Java expertise really to do that so mm. You know, and also if they're doing something that might be inefficient, and it sounds you know this is not a thing mm. to the developers, but if they're doing something like they're having to fix something by doing something weird, you'll exactly. never know what the original problem was because you can't yeah. you can't you know extra you can't yeah. abstract it back to the, the original issue. And it that original issue won't. Exa- I mean, I can guarantee, like you know, if it's a game, then it's got some weird hack in there that it has to have in there because that's just you know the nature of it. Yeah. Um. Um. So yeah, so you know maybe maybe that side of things isn't going to work. Like I say, I'll I'll package this up with an emulator. That they're they're quite old. Um, this like K emulator Lite is a kind of free version of it, and I don't think it's been updated in like ten years. Um, I'll package it up with with the with the with this file and um, give it a go for yourselves. And I don't know, compare high scores or something, but. Um, I'm pretty sure that when I destroy this thing's head again, it's going to crash in the same way that it did, or it's going to lock up in the same way that it did before. But I'd say that's basically it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A bit of an it's underwhelming. Way. <laughs> Wait for yeah. these nine lives to perish. All right, yeah. Let's get to it. like I'm, what I'll do. Is I'll, well, what are you actually are you more. aiming for the head or the body? It could be anything. Um, anything. So I think, and yeah, then a bit um, of body will fall off. A bit of body point. will fall off. Yeah. Oh, you are well, breaking it down because there's no six so now. Yeah, yeah, I think there's eight. Oh yeah. All oh, right. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah, yeah. Now there's five. Yeah. We seem to have broken out of that that bug. So that must be just a bug that happens when you come around the second time. Oh, it's a bug. You got four. It is a bug. <laughs> You've now got more lives than him. Oh, where's he gone? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there, there, you, there you go. It's from yeah. far now. So you could do this. This is doable. No oh, pressure. Now, now, now I'm going to root for you now. The, okay. the only thing oh. that might expire is our viewers' patience. <laughs> <laughs> Will we just speed this bit up? Spin on. Oh, fuck. See, this is what he does. He's, he's, he's Sneaky fucker, isn't it? Three. Oh. Don't know the half of it. Here he is, look. Oh, you little prick. <laughs> the, 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 I, I see why they do like the yellow flash when you hit him. But is that what I that is? I wondered if that was an emulating thing, but they seem to do that between... Because um, I, I can sometimes I see that on the emulator and sometimes I see that on the screen cap. 
Yeah, I wondered if that, I thought that was a mistake. Two. Uh, just like a, a quirk of our setup. <laughs> I didn't realise uh, that you were seeing that as well. I think this flashing has happened when I've run it on proper hardware, when I've run it on my phone. So I think because um, there's a flash at the end of... Uh, in the level transition, just before it's like, get ready, go. Yeah. And there's also a white flash. between every 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 level as well. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever there's like so a, whenever there's little... like a little a quote from someone, mm. it then goes yellow, and then next bit. Yeah, and I think it's it's there to give you a, a bit of a punch, like a like you're doing something, and it's the cheapest way of doing that. Oh come on! Ah come on with the <laughs> order. Oh shit! Do you know what? If he'd chosen to go down, then I would have died, and I would have had to start again. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Two balls. With his fucking joke. Is it worth shooting before he gets up to you so that you can... Um, like... I'm being overly cautious. I'm, I'm, what I'm... Because uh, you can get yourself stuck in one position focusing too much on firing um, and then you're not ready to move out of the way because oh, the way the controls ball. work. He's only got he one ball now. The other. He's only got one ball. It's fucked off her rare knots then. <laughs> <laughs> fucked off at the rare knots. I love that. Oh, the classic bit of a dwarf dialogue. <laughs> that, that, like, He's is fucked it? off like, at the rate of speed nuts, of sound. <laughs> Fuck, here come the eggs. <laughs> oh. oh. He just, yeah, he just decided. It's like he picks uh, a random direction and then just heads in that way. Yeah. Like, it if you're in the well way, then he's doing. You know, more for you, but. There is logic in this game, like the the spawn from the eggs do come directly at you, or like they try to aim at you. So there is some logic in here that knows where the player is and tries to find, uh, tr tries to zero in. So he might be using that, well, but he he seems to be a bit confused now. Bless I him. Say, I think it might. I wonder whether that's because of the size of him, like it's to do with the mm. the average size of him, and then the, the spinning, the, the center of the center of the spinning circle is much smaller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very so it's possible. More likely like, to it's be affected yeah. his maths, his little Ooh. internal maths. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a lovely time. <laughs> I go home now. Bye. <laughs> Been shot in the face about three hundred times. I'm gonna say, why does shooting it in the face make? It? Yes. There you go. Did it. Absolutely. Best lucky score. No, it's not. What? And it's that again. A bot. A bot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Well, I managed to. I did it without like dying horrifically. So you did. You did it with ten lives to spare, mate. I did. And this is the thing: the lives are basically meaningless. I mean, I plugged away at that with like basic stats, and yeah. now I can like pick things no, up yeah. again. Like now you're got... back at the start. You'd go and yeah. collect all those power ups that you had before. Exactly. Um... Mm. But, but yeah, it's like it's a cool game. I'm I'm excited for like people to be able to play it. It's a bit of a faff. Well, it's not that much of a faff game. It's work with emulators. I had to tell it like what the what the resolution of it was. Otherwise, it puts it in like a weird little window and it doesn't quite work right. But basically, you just control it with your number pad as if it were a phone. And um, so, hopefully, you know, people will get some. Amusement out of this. Yeah, it's good. I like I, yeah. I like being able to play, it, especially because it's like like I said, it's a bit of a, a bit of a lost uh, a bit of a lost artifact of of Red Dwarf stuff. It's nice to at least keep it alive somehow. You lost know, no I, I don't more. I don't think yeah. people are going to be annoyed that you you've made it available to play again because it's not like <laughs> as if anyone's losing well, anything on it. I it's not, pretty much abandoned like, you know, at this point. I, I, I mean, want him blue back to kind of give me give me their time a little bit. So hopefully this doesn't. Well, serve them I mean, more. you know, as long as you, like, if you, you know, I, I don't think you're, you're not selling it, so it's not like I don't think yeah, it really. I know, I know that the rights are still a thing, but just you know, as long as you've been sensible and nice about it. Yeah, this, this, this yeah. is when we find out that Grant Nader Productions were planning on releasing it on a forthcoming <laughs> DVD with Chris Barry narration. <laughs> <laughs> As a deep cut for long time <laughs> fans. That was pre Dan, so I didn't know about that. <laughs> that was, was pre In case you're listening, uh, mm. the police, it, this was pre Danny, so. Um, <laughs> and, I know it but, well, but yeah. I, I heard yeah, that. and it was a weird time as well of, of, for Red Dwarf. Like, everyone was convinced 
we weren't getting anything new. Uh, and we so were convinced we were getting a movie. Uh, were we convinced in 2003 we were getting a movie? We were quietly optimistic we were getting a movie, maybe. Yeah, I don't think hope for the movie died until a little bit later than that. Like, yeah, so by later. 2003, the big, like, because my big period of hope with a movie was 2002, which was when mm. um, there was pictures of Robert's mask fitting in, like, June 2002 or something. Yeah. And that was like, oh, yeah. fuck, well, it's definitely happening now. I mean, uh, and then by th- by this point, that that plan had obviously died but, but no there was really they knew. were releasing storyboards on toss yeah uh weekly at first and then just sort of every now and then um but yeah if you look sort of the early earliest days of gnt we talk about the movie as if you know it's a certainty and then you can trace a point where the uh, editorial line starts to be a bit more uh look listen don't lose faith there, there is going to be a movie guys honest like we yeah. <laughs> just le- leave them be it's taken a little bit longer than expected but there will be a movie we're, we're, we're sure and then one of the first things we just didn't talk about it ever again <laughs> yeah and it just became just assumed like man it's not happening I and mean, one of the first things i read on gnt was um, i can't remember if it was you or john uh, that wrote um why the movie uh, like why you shouldn't assume the movie's going to be shit and at yeah. the time i was like the movie's going to be shit because series eight was shit and like that's how I was kind of telling myself, like, oh, it doesn't matter that it's not happening because it's going to be shit. And um, yeah, there was a good good article about, you know, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be shit. It doesn't have to exist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the movie anyway. will happen. Sure as eggs is hen periods. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. That, sure that's where sure as eggs from. is the enemy for wave two of this game. <laughs> Those eggs are what Lister laid <laughs> in DNA. <laughs> in DNA. <laughs> They've just got a backlog of them. What, what look, Kevin like, is actually saying in that is, for God's sake, give me an epidural. <laughs> Let me just like I'm just like cute. Like this, this design is just very interesting to me. This like, it looks like they've got little horns, like they're little yeah. demons. Almost. It's like little mini versions of the big boss. They are, yeah, they yeah. are. Which I like that. Like you know, the first enemy you see and the last one you see is like you know. From that and resolution and kind of of, the, of that size, they kind of look a bit like the um, the totem uh, in uh, Kinatawawi space that they oh, yeah. end up blasting. Oh, the the rock. Uh, the rock. Yeah. Yeah, the rock. Oh, out. Yeah, that's the interesting. Yeah. Bony butts are movelets. It's a good episode. Let's move our butts, bony. <laughs> Uh, I think we've uh, come to the end of this video. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're definitely we're getting into waffle like just un, uh, unbidden waffle men. <clears throat> uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> because we're on YouTube. Yes, like and subscribe, please, because we will be doing more on YouTube. Yeah, we plan to. You. Let's not make any promises. Uh, so as always, head by everybody, head by. <laughs>